What's up guys? It's Ben from CrossFit Tiger PAW. Today we're going to talk about how to work up to a one rep max. You know, we, we test maxes in just about everything here. Today we're going to take an example of a squat, how we'd work up to a one rep max squat for the day to uh, save energy and maximize, you know, our potential. So, um, first thing we want to know is, you know, what's our, what's our old PR? So, old PR, let's say, is 150 pounds. You know, maybe I tested that two or three months ago. You know, what should my goal be today? We should be conservative. Just go for that five pound PR. So my, my goal, conservatively, should just be maybe just to get that five pound PR. So my new goal is 155. Now, we want to secure that, but if it feels good, if it felt easy, if we've made lots of gains, we can, we can go heavier than that after, but we want that five pound PR. A five pound PR, Every few months, you know, if you test, if you add five pounds every few months, you know, you add 20 pounds to your squat a year. That's going to be awesome. So, little small victory, we can get, we can go bigger if we need to. But um, so old PR is 150. We want to go to 155. We do not want to tie 150. That's going to waste energy, and it doesn't really show us anything. You know, if we if we go for 150 and tie it and we miss it, you know, we're going to be depressed. We're going to think that we didn't get stronger. Um, you know, if we get it and it was hard and wasted too much energy, we won't be able to get that next one. So we want to go just under and then just above. So let's talk about that. So my goal is 155. Okay, let's say I'm using a 35 pound bar. So obviously a fairly big gap between a 35 pound bar and my goal of 155. So what should we do? What should we do our jumps? Um, for me, for, for anyone, you know, it's always good to just do a few empty bar uh, reps. I just think that's a that's a good idea for everybody. You know, let's say you do um, five to ten um, at your empty bar. You know, obviously you would have done a warm up before this. You'd be feeling pretty good, but just for fun, five to ten. That's that's so light. You know, compared to what you're shooting for, that's not going to mess you up. So I do that, and then I'll make a jump. Let's say uh, let's say we go to sixty five pounds. Not getting too crazy. We're not in a rush. We don't need to make huge jumps yet. Um, so I go to 65 pounds, maybe I do that five times. Okay, so 30 pound jump here. Then we're gonna go to 85. Okay, not so bad, it's a 20 pound jump. Excuse me, so we're gonna do that three times. It's gonna feel awesome. Then let's say we go to 105. Okay, so now we're starting to get a little bit heavy. Generally, what I think a lot of people will experience is obviously very light, not too bad, not too bad. That first one that's kind of getting up there, your third or fourth one, generally will feel somewhat heavy. Your nervous system isn't quite awake yet. Um, so we do that one, we hit it for one. Feels pretty good, we're gonna go to 125 maybe. Obviously for one. And this is the crucial point, now what do we do? So this was a 20 pound jump here, 105 to 125. Let's go to 140, because again, we want to go just under our PR. That's a 15 pound jump. So we're tricking, I always say we're tricking the body. We went, we did these bigger jumps, 30 pound jumps, 20 pound jumps, we're going to 15, okay? Then it's just another 15 pound jump to our goal. So starting with bigger jumps, Dialing it down a little bit, you know, if this was a smaller number or maybe, you know, this kind of felt hard, maybe you would uh, sneak up on it even more. Maybe it would be a 10 pound jump. You know, if this was 135, maybe I'd make a 10 pound jump. The bigger the number, the bigger the jump you can make. So um, during these warm up sets, you don't want to, you don't want to mess around too much. You know, do your set, put some more weight on the bar, hit your set, do, you know, put more weight on the bar, hit your set as we get to the heavier ones, we rest a little bit more. So two to three minutes, kind of probably here, two to three minutes, two to three minutes, maybe a good full three minutes, um, just to make sure you're ready. CrossFit people love to go fast, but strength requires rest. So don't get over, uh, you know, over eager, take your time. Even though you don't feel tired after doing a one, a one squat at 125, you, you are. The, your energy system needs time to recharge. Then we go to here, again, still might not feel tired, but every little bit is gonna, you're gonna need all that strength, all that time to improve that squat by five pounds. So, you know, make smart jumps, dial your jumps down a little bit, you know, bigger jumps, 
from maybe a 30 to 20 to 15, maybe a 10, who knows? Um, and take your time in between and um, should have a good day.